Hello everyone. Today I am going to share a new project on MATLAB which is speech recognition using correlation. In this project I have used voice samples and uh, using those voice samples I have recognized a particular voice sample in MATLAB. The technique I have used for this recognition is correlation. Speech recognition is used in almost every security project and it's a main part of automation projects. Suppose you want to turn on or off your AC using voice commands then what you need to do, you need to first do the speech recognition like you are saying on. When you say on, the AC should get on and if you say off, the AC should get off. So for that, what you need to do is you have to do speech recognition. Uh, in today's post, I am going to show you how to do speech recognition in MATLAB and the technique I have used in this project is known as correlation. Correlation is normally used in signal processing where we need to compare two signals and need to find the similarity between these two signals we use correlation. It is also known as the dot product of, dot product of those uh, two signals. Uh, Correlation has many uses and you can read more about it on its Wikipedia page. I have shared the link here. Correlation is also used for pattern recognition. Like you want to find some pattern in a signal, then you can use correlation. Anyways, in my project, what we are going to do is we are going to use correlation technique. And using this technique, we are going to recognize speech. So, first of all, what you need to do is you need to download this MATLAB code for speech recognition and when you click it you will get a download file I'm not gonna download it because I already have it here so in this uh, package you will find all these files among these files 1 2 3 4 5 these five are samples like uh, let me turn on this one one it says one uh, let me one one and similarly two 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 three four and five for allow and deny i use this for allow i use just use this music and for denied, denied access denied and uh, these are test samples the first one is 2 2 2 and test 2 is 3 3 3 so we are going to first test the uh, first test file and then we are going to test the second test file and we will see whether our system recognize this file among these five files which are already stored in the database so here's our code first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna now in order to uh, let me first explain this code first of all i'm reading the test file file name here i'm reading this test file and then i'm reading one by one all the sample files one two three four and Five. okay and uh, along with reading I'm also taking a correlation here's the command X C O double R I'm taking the correlation with my initial file which is the test file this one here test dot W A V so it has X value and I'm comparing this X with the Y1 and this X with Y2 X with Y3 and I am finding the correlation of this test file with all these 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 files. <coughs> Once I get the correlation value, then what I am doing is, I am simply comparing it. If m is less than or equal to m1, then it's first file. If it's less than m2, then it's second file. If it's less than m3, then it's third, fourth and fifth. And if it's not among these, then I will... Uh, I will start the denied file that access denied and if it's correct 
then we will sound a low file where here it is sound s c h from up 50000 okay so now i'm gonna run this file and in order to run it what you need to do is simply copy this command and i'm gonna paste it here and when i'm gonna run it this one should be 2 so let's see whether it recognizes it or not 2 2 success so it successfully recognizes this speech that the test file is 2 now let me try the other one which is test 2 dot wave 3 and success I mean this file is also correct this one is third file now uh, let's try another file which is denied file denied and as it's not in the samples I have given it only five samples one two three four five so denied will is not gonna be uh, let me try allow because denied will be sounded as it's not acceptable so I'm gonna try allow and allow is not in the database in these five test files so it will be denied so let me start it and it said denied oh I think I did some mistake in the code Here it is. I have added these parentheses and save it. Now let's try it again. If you have downloaded the code, then you should change it as well. Access denied. Access denied means allow file is not accepted by the system. Now it's not in the database, a small database which we have created in our own code in these five files. So access denied means your file is not recognizable that's all for today you can download this code from here you can read the description here as well here's the code and here's some details these are the files and uh, subscribe us subscribe our channel and like this video thank you